Okay, so for my morning breakfast, I started off with two bananas. And I actually ended up only using one of those bananas. But what I'm doing is I'm just peeling the banana and chopping the banana up into my bowl. Um, they need to look like that. And then I'm just gonna take a lemon and squeeze it into the bananas. And I'm gonna take some coconut sugar and I'm gonna just drizzle that all on the top of my bananas. Coconut sugar is very good for you. I'll put the benefits below in the description box. Then I'm just taking some cinnamon and putting a lot of cinnamon in there and just a dash of nutmeg. Not even a lot, just a dash. And then I'm just mixing it all together with the fork because the spoon will make it very mushy and not very good. So make sure you use a fork. And then this is what you should end up with. Then you're just going to put your toppings on. I like to just put a bunch of hemp seeds and voila, that's my breakfast for today. Okay, so for dinner I'm having a vegan fish tacos and for this I'm just going to um, create my salsa. I'm going to start with some tomatoes and then I'm going to take half a lime, half of onion or a little under half of an onion, half of a jalapeno. What you're going to do is you're going to dice your onions into bite sized pieces, um, very small squares. Um, and then you don't have to use all the onions that I use. I just used what I wanted. And then you're going to cut up your tomatoes and cut your lime up. And I like to put my lime in with my onions first. Um, I heard that it cooks the onions. So, yeah. And then I'm going to slice up my jalapenos. And I'm going to um, put in a little bit of fresh cilantro. And then put that all into a bowl. And I'm going to just start to mix it up in the bowl with a little bit of salt and pepper and then put it into the refrigerator for about 10 minutes and that's it for the salsa. Okay so now we're gonna make our spicy sriracha mayo and what you're gonna need is vegan mayo and then you're gonna need the sriracha sauce, salt, pepper, a half of a lime and half of a lemon. Now I don't know where my footage went but what I did is I mixed the mayo, the sriracha, the lime and the lemon, mixed that all together and then added salt and pepper to taste. Okay so off camera I cut up some green cabbage and red cabbage and that's my little coleslaw mixture for my fish tacos. And I added a dash of cayenne pepper. Okay, so now we're ready to make our fish tacos. Now what you're going to do is I took some Ezekiel tortilla, um, wheat tortilla um, shells and I put it into the skillet to just to soften it up a little bit. And then I sauteed some onion. And now I'm just fixing the vegan fish that is already made. I usually make mine um, with mushroom. I, I make it out of mushroom. But I was thinking that it would make the video way too long. So I went out and bought some vegan fish fillets. And this is what it ended up looking like. And it tastes amazing. I thought that it was going to be nasty. I can't lie. I don't like buying store-bought um, meats but this was absolutely amazing it was so good you guys I'm not lying you have to try it I literally started jumping up and down when I walk in the store and seeing pomegranates on the shelf I love pomegranates so much okay so for this you're gonna go ahead and cut one of your pomegranates up and put it into water now this might seem complicated, but it's very easy. All you're gonna do is um, DC the pomegranate, putting it into the water makes it less messy and it makes it for a faster, um, makes it a faster process. 
There's many ways to do this, but this is just how I do it. Um, if you have a better way, then yeah, go ahead and try that way, but this is just what I do. Once I get done deseeding my pomegranates, all the residue rises to the um, surface of the bow. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take the um, skin out of the bow and go ahead and rinse it out in the sink and you're good to go. And you have a whole bowl of pomegranate seeds and they're amazing. You can put some orange juice in. That's what I usually do and I eat it like cereal, but I didn't have orange juice today. Or is it that I just didn't feel like making any orange juice? <laughs> All right, beauties, that's it. In the comments below, tell me what's your favorite meal, healthy or non-healthy, it doesn't matter. Leave me your favorite meal below in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.